Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, I'm going to be doing the guide for Traveler's Chosen. Now, there's a, probably a good chance that most of you already have this weapon. If you're watching this just to support, thank you very much. But before I start with the video, so before we start with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe, hit that bell notification, I would very much appreciate it. If you like my content, if you like just me in general, that would really help me out. So on with the video. So with that out of the way, these, this is going to be the quest steps to complete the Traveler's Chosen quest so you can get the weapon as well. But I'm going to give you like the best tips I can give you that I learned while doing this because I'm going to guarantee you that the strike ones specifically are going to annoy you. So first thing you're going to want to do is go visit Zavala. He's going to give you the Exodus Evacuation quest step which just says go speak to Asher Mir and Io. Once you are in Io and you speak to Asher Mir here, he'll update your quest up, which is basically Observer Effect, which means go to the Sanctum of Bones. It's the Lost Sector right next to him. So all you have to do is get a Taken Sample, complete the Lost Sector, and get 25 Traces of Corruption. Essentially, just complete the Lost Sector and kill the extra boss at the end. If you are paranoid about getting enough Traces of Corruption, you could kill the, the Taken Scions, the ones that split. Kill one, let it split. Kill one, let it split and rinse and repeat. You could do that if you're really paranoid about it or if you don't have enough. So once you complete that, you'll get into the Paramedian, which obviously you have to complete the Paramedian and you have to get 25 scan traces from defeating Vex in Io. Now, this one is particularly annoying. Not only this one, but any strike one because the 25 scan traces only drop if you're in the vicinity of the enemy being defeated. So if you have an asshole who's just literally trying to go as fast as he can and you're trying to kill him a lot of stuff, he'll most of the time just go so fast that you're not getting trace scan traces because he's going so fast you're not in the area. So if you do have someone that's going fast or if you're in a group, tell your group we have to do this like we have to be around each other so that way we can get the traces. If you're going with someone that's going as fast as he can, at that point, I would say just key, either keep up with him or just back out and go back in. That's what I would do. So once you complete the Into the Paramedian, you'll get the Double Blind, which is complete the Heroic Unexpected Guest Adventure on IO. This one's really easy. Uh, if you've never done the adventure, it's simple as fuck. I mean, I can show you guys right now. Essentially... You'll get to this area. Once you get to this area, you'll go where all the Taken are going into, which is this area. And then from there, you'll see three orbs. All you have to do is collect the orbs and dunk them. And then once that happens, a wizard comes out and then just kill the wizard. And that's really it. Uh, I'll have it up on the screen right now. So once that's over, you will get the quest step Fleshman Ishman. I, I can't even say the fucking word. Axiom. Once you once you get that, just go back to Ashramir and to complete it. Once that happens, he tells you to fuck off to Titan. So we're gonna go to Titan to speak to Sloan. Once you get to Sloan, she's gonna give you the quest step clearing the decks, which is complete the lost sector near her. It's like right almost what almost behind her i'll show you guys right now this one all you have to do is defeat the the hive knight dekthra which he does spawn, I think at the end, he's this big fuck Titan. You'll, you'll see, or this big fuck uh, Knight. You'll, you'll see him when, you'll, you'll know who I'm talking about. He's fucking huge. And then after that, just loot the Lost Sector. That's really it. So once you complete clearing the decks, you'll get Asset Interception, 
which is go to the solarium and festering halls and defeat the ogres that and loot the chests that they drop. This one's not that hard. Uh, look at your map if you don't know where the solarium and festering halls are. Quick tip, solarium is like the first part and then festering halls is like right after solarium. So it's just one big line. Uh, I will have the video up right now as I'm talking, but essentially you'll defeat the ogres. Once you defeat the ogres, they'll drop chests and just keep going. I think there's two in solarium and then one in festering halls. At least that's what I remember. Well, you'll see in the video right now. I'll be right back. So once you complete Astide Interception, you'll get Be The Wall, which is essentially complete Sabathun's song, and they get 25 tech fragments from defeating Hive, Wizards, Knights, and Ogres on Titan. So essentially the same thing as the last strike of thing, make sure you're next to your, your people, that way you can get the tech fragments, and make sure you're killing the Wizards, Knights, and Ogres. This one did not, I didn't have to do this twice, I didn't have to do the other one twice either. But just be conscious of where you are and where your friends are because if you are not close to them, you will not get tech fragments and you're going to have to do it all over again. So I would say don't even worry about it your first run unless you really want to complete it. But I would say just don't even worry about it. Complete Sabathun's song and then if you still need like five or more or five or ten more, just go back in, get the, get the last remaining that you need and then just back out. That's really it. And after you complete Be The Wall, you will get the Will of a Titan, which is just go talk to Sloan. So once you talk to Sloan, you're going to have to report back to Zavala. Once Zavala gives you his whole spiel, you're going to have to go to Mercury. Now, Mercury, you're going to have to talk to Brother Vance. Once Brother Vance is spoken to, he's going to give you the Shattered Future quest step, which is complete a Garden World. Now, this is the one that took me a while because I had an asshole who just was going super fast. This one is you have to complete a garden world, plus you gotta get timeline fractures from defeating Hydras, Minotaurs, and Cyclopses on Mercury. Pretty much it. The problem was that I was going up against a Warlock top tree. So that dude was literally so fast, I couldn't keep up with him. So unfortunately for me, I had to do this twice. But like I said, it's not that big a deal. Just complete it once, and then after that, just find out how much more you need, and then just go back in, kill, then just, just kill it, really. After you complete a Shattered Future, you're going to get in his footsteps, which is Tree of Probabil Probabilities, Jesus. And with this one, you're going to have to get Traces of Osiris from defeating Cabal on Mercury. This one's not so bad because this is a very Cabal-heavy strike. But again, if you have trouble not getting enough Traces of Osiris, don't worry about it. Uh, just complete the step, quest, complete the strike, and then go back in. This, one's, this one was not hard at all, but... Again, a little more annoying if you have people who are just kind of like really going fast on it. And then the last step in Mercury is going to be complete 
the heroic bug in the system adventure in Mercury. This one's really annoying. I hate this. I hate this one. And I hate that they chose this one. But essentially, you have to kill a Cyclops. Once you kill the Cyclops, he drops like this lightning orb, electric orb. You dunk it in the middle and then you just protect it from Hive. The only problem is they start spawning everywhere. So you'll have like a knight just chilling on the thing. It's really annoying. I'm not going to show you how to do it because it's very self-explanatory. But just know that if if any hive go into the in the middle and they break the connection all you got to do is find another cyclops kill it and he drops another orb and then dunk it and then just wait really that's it honestly so after you complete a disciples plea go back to brother vance he'll give you the better days ahead which is just speak to brother vance on mercury after you speak to brother vance he'll send you to mars don't worry you're almost done so once you get to Mars, speak to Anna Bray. Anna Bray will give you the signs of life, which is investigate mine lab Rasputin. So this is the part where I fucked up and I did a lot of escalation protocol without needing to at the moment. So I'm going to show you where to go. I'll be right back. So once you find Rasputin, you're going to get the recycled components, which is just defeat bosses and escalation protocol for Rasputin frame pieces. You have to get five if I remember correctly. So that means five bosses defeated. This one's not hard. Just do escalation protocol level one. If you have more people, more power to you. Just go all, all in. I ended up beating the last level, level seven boss just because I was, I was at level six. I was like, fuck it. Might as well get some free stuff. So. After you get all five pieces, you'll get the signaling shield quest step, which is complete the heroic deathly tremors adventure in Mars. This one's really simple. Uh, once you get it, you'll go to the the waypoint. Go to the waypoint. You're going to see some hive like praying to this statue or not statue like obelisk more. Destroy the obelisk and then keep going to the waypoint and rinse and repeat until you get to this ogre you'll fight the ogre and then that's really it honestly this one's not that hard at all very self-explanatory if you want to go super fast on it just kill the the obelisks and go to the next one go to the next one and then once you see the ogre destroy him and then you're done really after that you'll go to speak to anna bray and then after that you go to speak to zavala She'll tell you to, all right, you did good. So go speak to Zavala. After you speak to Zavala, he'll give you this whole spiel that I will not put up because I want you to hear it for yourselves. But after that, you get the weapon. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I personally really like it. I have been thinking about doing a few builds with it. I was going to do, I am going to do a review on it, but like an idiot, I was using it in Iron Banner. And let me tell you guys, that's not the play. Very not the play. Uh, trying to kill someone with a sidearm when everyone's using a an assault rifle is not the play, man. Let me tell you. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. This one was a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun to do. Not gonna lie. Uh, writing the script, that is. It was a lot of fun. I don't know why writing scripts is fun to, to me now, but it was a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think about the weapon. I personally like it. I already said that, but... <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And enjoy your new weapon. And let me know about some cool builds that you're thinking about doing. So, yeah, I will see you guys later.